Hi, this is John Haven presenting Getting Started for Font Creator 11, a video recorded by Biku Pesala. Before creating your first font, personalize Font Creator's settings to suit your own needs. Once you're familiar with where to get help online, you may want to disable the welcome dialog. If you work on the same font or set of fonts for weeks, enable the option on Start, Open Files from Last Time. The font used in cells displays ghost glyphs in the glyph overview, so it's best to select a font with a wide range of different glyphs. I made my own, but you can select a font to suit the language for which you will be designing fonts. Font Creator comes with several predefined text strings for use in the preview toolbar. I generally use one design to test a number of common open type features. I also added a lot of text strings to help with adjusting kerning pairs. To save entering the same information for each font that you create, fill in your details on the personalized tab. Different license agreements can be saved as text files and loaded from the license agreement dialog. Test the internet links by clicking the buttons to open the URL in your default browser. If you have a vendor ID, select it from the drop list. Validation of common glyphs with many points and contours can be slow. If your fonts are complex, you will need to increase these values to make sure that the glyphs are checked for errors when auto-detect is enabled in the validation toolbar. Default settings for importing vector images can be set on the Import tab. When you become more experienced with using Font Creator, some of the warnings on the Advanced tab can be disabled. To edit the names of tags, or to edit other user configurable options, open the user data folder and edit tags.txt. The tag names are shown in the glyph overview side panel. I use one tag for glyphs to delete before exporting fonts for the web. On starting a new font, 1. Give it a unique name. 2. Choose the font style. 3. Choose the outline format. 4. Include outlines if you wish. Some common glyphs can be included to help beginners create a usable font more quickly. It is expected that most of these will be replaced later with glyphs that match the current font's design. If a font with CFF PostScript outlines was created, the F units per M settings and font properties General will default to 1000. The outline format in the Fonts Project's export settings will also default to CFF PostScript. I will discard this font and reopen one that I made earlier. To create a new glyph, 1. Import a vector image, 2. Import a bitmap, 3. Use the free draw tool, 4. Insert contours. Import an image. Browse to select a vector image. Resize and reposition the imported contours, deleting any that are not needed. If the metrics are locked, unlock them to adjust the side bearings visually. Browse to select a bitmap image. For some bitmaps, you may need to adjust the threshold to get a good result. It is not usually a problem for a black and white image. If the bitmap is too small, 
Font Creator will suggest enlarging it automatically by up to 400% to get a smoother trace. Large bitmaps may take several seconds to trace. Vectors import much faster. If the imported contours are bigger than the window, use Zoom to Selected, resize them, then use Zoom to Selected again. Adjust the right side bearing. The free draw tool is a simple paintbrush. Adjust the paint width first, then paint, holding down the shift key to draw straight lines. If you make a mistake, you can delete the last stroke. When you have finished painting, click the Convert to Contours button. Font Creator will trace the contours, converting them to true type or bezier curves depending on the font's project's export settings. The Insert Contour tool is a vector pen tool. Click and drag to draw lines and curves, holding down the Shift key to constrain the angle. Click the back button if you make a mistake. Click on the first node or the apply button to close the contour. The type of contour created depends on the outline format in the font's project's export settings. Select the Insert Contour tool again to draw a new contour. Draw in whichever direction you like. Font Creator will correct the direction of inner contours automatically. One can also build contours with the rectangle and ellipse contours using the Get Union of Contours feature to join them. That's enough for this brief introduction to creating your first font. Don't forget to save your project font regularly as you work. Control S only takes a second. Thanks for watching on behalf of the Font Creator team.